everyone, thank you for joining me again this week. Um, as some of you may know already, you might have um, seen it in the news that I've, I've signed a new record contract, which is so exciting because this is unbelievably to me my 10th year and my 10th album. So when I signed my very first record contract when I was 23, that was with Decca, um, with Universal. Um, they were the ones that I, I went in and I sang to four record company bosses who, it was the most nerve wracking experience. They let me go home and I totally thought I'd blown it, but within an hour they called to say they'd like to offer me a six album deal and obviously that changed my life. So it seems really, really special and kind of appropriate that with it being 10 years, to go back to the beginning, go back to the, the record company that it all started at, to many of the people who I worked with on the first few albums. So I can't think of a better way to start this year than um, by us all working together and making a new album. Um, last year was absolutely brilliant. Um, I got to do so many amazing things. I didn't make an album, but I did a lot of um, touring. I got asked to sing with lots of people that I admire in places that were quite spectacular. Um, I started the year doing the um, European tour with Il Devo, a co-headline tour, where I really got to know the boys because when you are at these things like TV shows and events and award ceremonies, you often see people that you, you know, perform with in your world, but you don't actually ever really get to know them properly. And what was great about that was we ended up spending time in rehearsal and then, of course, all the time on the road. And I really got to know the boys. We hit it off amazingly well. In fact, I think they call me now Il Diva's little sister. <laughs> um, and I miss them a lot. We really really had so much fun and, and we, we keep in touch now. Um, so that was a great start to the year. My sister got married and I then ran the London Marathon, which was something I never in a million years did I ever think I would do because I'm, whilst I, I like to do fitness stuff, I wouldn't class myself as an athlete but I'm so, so glad that I did. And thank you to all of you who were so supportive and either came out and cheered me on or um, you know, donated um, to the Just Giving page. It just really was one of those days I will never forget. So um, thank you for you all being so amazing during that time. Um, and then I went off and did lots of different concerts like singing at the, the Coronation concerts at the Palace, which were, unbelievable um, to be able to take my mum and my sister and to have them sitting you know a few a few rows in front of the royal box in the gardens of Buckingham Palace um, practically the entire royal family was sitting you know just behind them it was unbelievable I even had my own room and my own butler in the palace which was quite out there um, and a huge huge honour to have been asked so that was amazing. I got to go to Japan last year and I also went to China to sing in Shenzhen for the first time of, of being in that area of China. Uh, I went to Abu Dhabi to sing with uh, Jose Carreras who is a complete idol and an inspiration of mine. I've sung with him before once last year in Preston but this was my first time to Abu Dhabi and my second time to sing with him and it's always just so wonderful. Um, what else did I do? I then did lots of concerts going throughout the UK. I did my show at the Royal Albert Hall. I did one going back to Wales at St. David's Hall in Cardiff and a few concerts in Cork. Um, so really, really thoroughly enjoy doing those. Two of my favourite trips from last year, one was going to South Africa again. Uh, I always love going there because I'm so into wildlife and I got to do an incredible safari in between um, two sets of the concerts. I mean, this place took my breath away. We, we at one point stopped on a, on a sunset um, tour and we were going to stop and have a little drink and a little sort of bit of fruit and this herd of elephants just came past and stopped and actually looked into our van. It was the most incredible thing. And even our guide said he hadn't quite seen anything like that. We saw um, the, like a, a few lionesses that were just, uh, had just done a kill. We saw loads of rhinos. We went to a rhino orphanage. 
it really was one of like a trip of a lifetime that I will never ever forget. And another trip, which again ranks highly in my memories, that will you know I will always take with me, would be my trip to Afghanistan last year. Um, I feel so lucky when I get to do these trips with the forces because they're incredible people doing an incredible job, and the fact that they sort of let us come into that and see it and be part of it is is really special. Um, the last time I was in. Camp Bastion was, I think, something like 2007. So you can imagine, since then and now, it's changed so much. I think Bastion's now the size of Reading. Um, and whereas before we were staying in tents, now they're sort of like proper buildings. But I got to do a couple of shows and I went all day around meeting everybody. If you met me in Bastion or if you have a family member that did, like leave me a message in the box below or you know, show me photos. I put loads of photos on my Instagram, which is Real Kath Jenkins. Um, and so you can, I try my best to share these with you, but it really was a trip that I'm so glad that I went on and you know, as soon as they need me to go anywhere like that again, I will. <laughs> So this year is really, really exciting. Um, the year started off in such an amazing way, a huge surprise to me to find out that I was getting an OBE. Um, in fact, what actually happened was um, I got a letter, but it didn't get sent to my London address, it got sent to my mum's house in Wales. And I walked through the front door and my mum, because the letter says cabin office, and, and my mum was like, open it, open it. She had a feeling that she thought she might know what it was. I had no idea. And I opened it up and it said, you know, we'd like to put you forward, but please don't tell anybody. Um, and I didn't even know if it was really going to happen. So when I got that news at New Year, it really was something so unbelievable to me. Um, I cried with mum. We had a glass of champagne to celebrate. And um, it's just a great start to 2014. I feel very thankful. The other really exciting news, in a personal way, is that I'm going to be an auntie this year, which nobody knows I'm sharing this with you, but yes, I'm going to be an auntie and I can't wait. Um, it's the first in our family. Um, and then I'm going to be spending the summer uh, doing lots of the concerts, the open air concerts, as you know I love. Um, well, I'll be doing all the, the promo and you know sharing the album with you and I'll be really, really excited to know what you think about that in the autumn. The album will be coming out um, you know, towards Christmas, and there'll be a UK tour early January, February of next year. So there's so much to see you at. I really, really hope that you're going to enjoy the new album. You know, I do all this for you, and um, I, I hope that I see you at some of these things soon. Anyway, sending you lots of love because I'm babbling on. So